Hi, I'm Ukulele Ben. Pardon me, boy, is that the Chattanooga Choo Choo? Hi everyone, um, I'm going to show you very briefly, as best I can anyway, the uh, old Glenn Miller classic Chattanooga Choo Choo. Very simple song, but lots of changes. The chords are straightforward-ish, but the song can be quite busy. Don't panic, we're going to go through it little by little with the sheet we've done previously. Again, I'm speaking to the Improvers course at the Bristol Folk House for spring 2017. Whoa. Um, I will try and put it on the website, the, the sheets I'm talking about with this music, the website being ukulelewithben.com. But let's get into it. All right, this song has a whole bunch of chords. The G chord, for starters, pointy finger behind the second fret of the C string, the middle finger behind the second fret of the A string, and the ring finger behind the third fret of the A string. The next one's all our favorites, the C chord, where it's the ring finger behind the second fret like so on the A string. And the next one, the, uh, the guru-like chord, the D chord, where he puts, well, three fingers or whatever behind the second fret of the G string, C string, and A string. Though I tend to play with the pointy finger between the E, sorry, the G and the C and the middle finger on the E. The A chord, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, pointy finger behind the first fret of the C string. A uh, lot more F, so middle finger on the second fret of the G string, pointy finger behind the first fret of the E string. Uh, C seventh, so you have your C. The C seventh is the pointy finger behind the first fret of the A string. Expectant. And the newer one, which you didn't really go through last time, is the C minor. So I tend to use my ring finger behind the third fret of the E. Sorry, the C, the E, and the A. And you can hear, the reason I use the ring fingers is because we do C, 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 and then C minor. C. Everything else isn't working so hard. It's a way of not having to overwork what you're doing. Now the strum pattern for this song is quite straightforward because you're just going up and down. Remember that natural arc. I'll show it better here. So you go, dump, 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 dump. Dump. So you're not going down. You're going just with that natural uh, arc in your wrist. Let's give it a song again, shall we? Ready? Part of me, boy. It's that a Chattanooga Choo Choo Track 29 Boy can you give me a dust shine Can you afford The boy the Chattanooga Choo Choo I've got my fare But just a trifle to spare On to the verse you leave the Pennsylvania station about a quarter to four. Read a magazine and then you're in Baltimore. Rooted in my diner, nothing could be finer than to have your ham and eggs in Caroline. When you hear the whistle blowing, eight to the bar. Then you know that Tennessee is not very far. Shuffled all the calling, gotta keep it rolling. Chattanooga, there you are. Ready for verse two? There gonna be a certain party at the station. Saturday. I used to call funny face. Now the closing chorus. She's gonna cry. A tender tatter that I hold ever wrong. So Chattanooga. Choo choo, won't you choo choo me home? What did you think?
Hope that sounded okay. I hope that made sense. I hope you're able to see my hands and make the chords and so on. Keep playing, keep practicing, and uh, keep mucking about with this. And I'll talk to you all soon. God love you.